Welcome back to the Spotlight. I'm Nick Candela, and as promised, we have the crew from Just Baked here in, in studio. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Now, first of all, I want to, this is Pam. You are the founder of Just Baked. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to come up with making uh, a bakery, I suppose. Well, I actually was interested in cupcakes specifically okay. um, from my travels and my job. I was uh, traveling through the country, and I saw the trend on both sides of the country, and I thought Detroit needs that. So I started baking at home, not a baker, um, but I learned to bake just by blogs and cookbooks and okay. worked at it for about a year and came up with my recipes and started baking for friends and family. And, and they liked it? And they did. Apparently they liked it. Now... <laughs> Now tell me a little bit about you know how you came up with the recipe. You said you know you kind of went to blogs and looked up some different recipes. What is it about Just Baked that is maybe different than some of the other bakeries around? So I think um, the first thing is we always try to be creative. Okay. Um, the first cupcake I made was a s'more because my kids were coming home from camp, <laughs> and I thought it would be fun. But uh, you know, so we're always creative. We always use very premium products. We use real eggs, real butter, real cream and milk. Um, not a lot of bakeries do that anymore. Okay, wow. And so we like to pride ourselves on premium and indulgent and creative products. And looks like things have been going fine. We just opened up a store right here in Warren. And that kind of leads me to our other guest here, Dan. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and why you chose Warren as your location. Uh, Warren is our second location. Uh, my wife, Andrea, and I uh, now own two franchises. Um, we chose Warren uh, really because um, kind of for the same reasons we chose Just Baked to start with, right? Um, we're Michigan people. Just Baked is 100% Michigan homegrown company. And what better spot than, you know, the old village of Warren, the right. heart of the automotive industry to, to kind of carry on the tradition. And so we've had great feedback. You know, all of our neighbors have been into the store. Um, they're so happy to have a business back. Uh, right. in a historic village and especially a bakery. So. Exactly. I mean, the old Warren Village Bakery has right. been a staple in the city for many, many years, and we were sad to see him go, but you know, we're happy to see somebody, like you said, a Michigan-grown company move right back in, and you know, hopefully you guys are going to stick around for a long time. I know that's probably the goal, I would think. Right. And you know, tell me, I guess, you know, you're a franchisee owner, so why Just Bake? What was it about Just Bake that you know, that you decided that was the one that you wanted to right. go to? Um, I like cupcakes. I don't know <laughs> if you doesn't? can tell, right? Um, <laughs> but really it was about, uh, as Pam said, it's about the premium product. Um, I like to tell, and when I talk to customers about our product in our store, I get really excited because it's almost like every cupcake has a story. You know, we have a cupcake called a Samoa cupcake, like, like the old Girl Scout uh, cookies, right. and it's exactly like the Girl Scout cookie, <laughs> you know, and we have uh, cupcakes like uh, orange creamsicle, that's a, one of the summer flavors, well, it's just like eating an orange creamsicle, so it's really like um, Pam and Just Bake, they kind of created an experience in each cupcake, and it's really fun, you know, for customers to come in and try all these different products, so. And I guess that leads me basically to what Jordan does for Just <laughs> yeah. Bake. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do in the kitchen. Um, I'm a 2009 graduate of the Culinary Institute of America in New York. Um, I came to Just Baked right after I graduated, basically, in February of 2010, and, you know, pretty much worked my way up through the ranks. Started as a baker, um, part-time, topping cupcakes, baking cupcakes, um, making goodies, cookies, things like that, and now I direct the kitchen. I'm the kitchen director at so Just Baked's facility. Are you, I guess, you work a lot with making the recipes and coming up with some of these creative... Yeah, we do. Um, I'm really integral in the research, research, research and uh -huh. development process. Okay, very nice. Coming up with new product and recipes for the existing cupcakes or existing product. Very nice. And uh, as you can see or may not be able to see right now, but we have a blank canvas in front of us. Um, why don't you go ahead and tell us some you know, festive ideas of what some of our viewers might be able to pull off um, the holiday season right around the corner. <laughs> Well, I was just going to do a couple um, royalized cookies. We do okay. these in our stores. Um, basically, it's just a regular sugar cookie that we roll out. Um, and then we top it with, it, it's a pretty, it's not the sweetest cookie. Um, okay. Because it has an icing, which is primarily all sugar. <laughs> which um, is the good stuff. Right. <laughs> so I 
I'll just decorate a couple for you, kind of go through the, the steps of what I do. Yeah, no problem. So now you just put it kind of in a bag with the... Yep. royal icing, put it in a bag with a tip. Okay. Um, and it should be, you should be able to pipe it and um, it shouldn't run off the sides of the cookies. So it should be firm enough okay. where you're, it's not just going to like fall. So I'll start by outlining the cookie. And you can use any... Any, cutter that's around the house. Any cutter, any color. You can dye this. Um, it dyes very nicely with, you know, food grade dye. Um, you know, you can buy it at the grocery store, just like red, blue, yellow. Mix whatever color you want. You can right. also get, Michael's does a lot of, you know, food dyes now. You can get crazy colors, fuchsia and purple and lime green, whatever you want to do. So basically I'm outlining that I'm filling in the cookie. Oh, and the icing is going to look a little rough because I planned on dipping these in sugar. So okay. don't worry about the appearance because sugar hurts everything. <laughs> so if you're not an artist at home, don't even worry about it because you're just going to slam it down into some sugar exactly. right here. So you have your, you know, rough canvas. And then I just get a bowl, you know, just like a any old bowl. Just dip it in the sugar. I kind of jiggle it back and forth. <laughs> and then I give it a good press. And then. And there you go. <laughs> some polar bear. Now, polar what do you call bear. it? Some glistening, sprinkly. Yep, looks like snow. Festive fun, looks like snow. That is awesome. Yep. I know not only are we, you know, big advocates, obviously, of the food that comes out of Just Bake, but you guys also do a lot with charity. I know mm -hmm. um, in the past, if you've uh, followed our show, The Spotlight, for the last few years, we worked with Erin Cummings and her charity, um, Mittens for Detroit. And I know yep. you guys are a huge sponsor or a big helper in that charity. Are you guys participating again this year? We are. Um, we have boxes in all 13 of our stores. Um, actually, I talked to Erin about it last night, and we encourage everyone to come in with mittens, fill the boxes up. The mittens go um, to charities throughout Metro Detroit that need, you know, that have people that are in need. So, you know, you can buy gloves now at the dollar store. You right. can buy them anywhere. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just come on in and bring them in, and, and um, we'll be running some specials during the year that... We'll give you a little coupon if you bring some mittens in. Oh, there so you go. come on in and some do incentive that. to do good this holiday season. Yeah. <laughs> and Dan, uh, tell us once again the location of the new Warren store. Uh, the Warren store is on Mound Road. It's three one eight two nine Mound, uh, and it's in the old Village Bakery, which is on the corner of Mound Road in Chicago. It's the southwest corner of Mound in Chicago. I want to thank you guys so much for being on the show. Thank you for showing us some tips on how to decorate some holiday desserts. Uh, make sure you guys stop in there. You know, support Michigan local companies right here in the city of Warren. Stick around. There's going to be more Spotlight coming right up. Coming up next, Becca gives us the word. Coming up later, a musical performance by Brandon Gillahan. Stick around. The Spotlight will be right back.